In this video, I'll walk you through Review360, which is one of the tools in your Articulate360 trial or subscription. Review360 is a web app for collaborating with subject matter experts and stakeholders on the e-learning projects you create in Articulate360. You publish your courses to Review360, then gather feedback. You can update your project with any recommended changes and keep everyone in sync with the latest version of your course. Reviewers do not have to be subscribers of Articulate360 to be able to view your course and leave feedback. Let's start by first publishing a Storyline360 file to review, and then I'll show you a Rise360 course I already have in review that's received some comments. Here I am in my Storyline file, and when I'm ready to publish to Review360, I just click on the Publish button here at the top of the screen. When I click on Publish, Review360 is the very first option on my Publish window. I can create a new item, publish a new version of an existing item, or I can publish locally for manual upload later. This is helpful if I'm working in Storyline when I don't have an internet connection. Let's go ahead and create a new item here, and we'll just call this Interaction. Down below, I have some more options. I can choose the player for my Storyline course, the optimization of the quality of the course, how it might be tracked if I'm going to import it into a Rise360 course as a Storyline block, and then finally, how much of this Storyline course I'd like to publish. Let's make a change here and switch this from entire project to just publishing a single scene. We'll go ahead and just publish scene five. I could also publish a single slide if I'd like to just publish a single slide to review. When I click OK, I'm ready to click Publish and my course will publish to Review360. Now that it's done, I can click on View Project to go directly to Review and view my course. Here's my interaction in review, and I can go through it the same way a person leaving feedback would. I'm ready to get started, so I can click on Ready here and go through that interaction. If I'm ready to share this with reviewers, I would just come up to the top of the screen here, click on Share, and send this link off to them in whatever way is most convenient for me. They'll be able to come in and leave feedback in the comments section. Let's head over to a Rise360 course that I already have in review that has lots of comments on it. So here's that Rise course, and right now I'm looking at it in review mode. To see all the feedback that's been left, I'll want to click over to the feedback section here. When I select feedback, I can see all the feedback that was left in this Rise course and where my reviewers left their feedback. I can zoom in to see exactly where they were when they left their feedback on my course. If I wanted to reply to my reviewers, I can click in and add a reply to what they said. I can even add attachments or add them in my response. If I want to mark a comment as resolved, I can just click on the green check mark next to a comment and resolve that comment. If I want to delete a comment, I can click on the down arrow and delete the comment altogether. Up at the top of the screen, you can see that my comments are sorted by recent, but I can switch between and sort them by lesson as well. When I'm ready to stop accepting comments on this course, I can disable the comments. I could also mark them all as read or turn back on those resolved comments that I've already marked as resolved. I can export all of the comments into a CSV file, and I can also adjust the project notifications here. When I click on project notifications, I can set the level of activity that I'd like to receive for this project. Back over in review mode, we can see that those comments aren't there anymore because I'm looking at this the way a reviewer would, so I even could go in and leave comments on my own course. Here at the top of my course, I can see that this is the current version and I have a drop down. This particular course only has one version, but if I went back into Rise360 and made changes to this course and published it again as a new version of this same item, my reviewers wouldn't need a new link. They could always use the same original link that I sent them and they'll always be in the most recent version of whatever I've published. Let's go back over to our Review360 dashboard and take a look at how it's organized. By default, Review360 will show you all of the content that you currently have in review. 
but you can organize these items by folders. I'll go ahead and create a new folder here and call this employee onboarding. When I hit save, I'll see my new folder here and there's currently nothing in it. If I head over to all content, I can move items into the folder by clicking on the menu on the item. So I'll move this item into my new employee onboarding folder and now I can see it there in employee onboarding. I could always remove it from this folder and put it back into the all content. I can rename it, grab the share link, I can even upload a new version from here for this storyline file. Let's head back over to our all content and look at some more options. From here you can add items so if you wanted to upload a file whether that's a zipped course package from Storyline if you remember that publish for manual upload we can also upload a video so if you have an mp4 file or some type of video that you'd like to manually upload into review you can certainly do that as well. I can search the content that I have here in review, or I can filter by file format type. If I know that I'm looking for a RISE 360 course, I can filter down to just RISE 360 courses or just Storyline 360 courses, whatever it is I might be looking for. If I were to delete something here in review, it's going to go over into my deleted items folder. Once you empty it out of your deleted items folder, empty that trash, it is gone. So keep that in mind if you are going to delete something. Typically, I keep everything in my all content. You can see that I have quite a bit of content here. If I were to scroll through all of this, I have a lot of courses in my Review 360. There's no harm in keeping things in here. You can always go in and send the link off if you need review, or just remember that you can disable the comments on a project file. And that's it. That's how Review 360 lets you, the e-learning developer, and your stakeholders and subject matter experts collaborate on projects in this simple web app. And remember, your reviewers do not have to be Articulate 360 subscribers or trial users to leave feedback on your courses.